See this whiskey? This is B&J. Glen Morangy stopped making it a few years ago, and I bought as many bottles as I could. This is my last one, and I just couldn't bring myself to finish it. Then the other day, I had a measure. It tasted like this, which is basically poison. This is disgusting. How is it that my favorite whiskey turns to this? I'll tell you. It's because all of this air that's in the bottle. Whiskey does not last after you open it. You maybe have about one or two years, but when you do what I did, you save it for a special occasion, and then you're disappointed. This is such a great whiskey that had so many good memories for me, but by leaving it in an open bottle, I totally ruined it. In this video, I'm going to give you five tips for how you can avoid making the same mistake that I did. Don't be like me. Don't you be like me. The first thing you can do is limit exposure to light. Do not go into the light! Now, I know you probably have a fantastically beautiful whiskey collection and you want to show it off. But if you put it in a cupboard, it might last longer. The other thing you can do is keep those plastic tubes that they come in, and if you keep your whiskey in the tube, it will last a bit longer because you're obviously keeping out a lot of light. That's the same reason that a lot of whiskeys now come in colored glass. You want to avoid light. Light is not your friend. We're not friends. Tip number two, avoid temperature fluctuation. Now, I know it sounds a bit crazy, but temperature can actually impact the whiskey. Keeping it at room temperature is okay, but ideally, if you kept it in a root cellar, then your whiskey would last a lot longer. But, I don't know, who has root cellars anymore? If you have a root cellar, leave a comment down below. I'm really curious. I don't think they exist. But what you could do, and I know this sounds bad, you could leave it on your bottom shelf. <gasps> I know, I know what you're saying. You only have top shelf whiskey, but heat rises. Take off all your clothes. And if you keep your whiskey a bit lower, it could last longer, if you can bring yourself to do it. No, I'm not gonna do that. The reason that this tastes disgusting now is because it's oxidized. What causes oxidization? Oxygen. So having all this is not good. Let's say I left this filled up halfway. It would have lasted a lot longer. But the problem is that there's so much space for air in here that it's what causes the flavor to decrease. Now what you can do is drink half your whiskey, save it for a bit, then finish the other half. That works. Another way you can do it is decant. Again, what I should have done is taken this big bottle and decanted it into smaller ones. When you limit the amount of oxygen that's in the bottle, it'll last longer. The other option you have is something called Private Preserve, which kind of sounds like a Steven Spielberg film. Private Preserve is an inert gas that you can spray into a whiskey bottle. It was designed for wine and if I'm being completely honest, I'm not sure how well it works. Personally, I don't know if I would trust it for my favorite whiskeys. Although, I guess I'm not a good example because I completely destroyed this. But what it does, if you spray it in, it creates a layer of inert gas between the oxygen and your whiskey. So in theory, it keeps the oxygen from impacting the spirit. Now, it was designed for wine, and I think that it tends to work for a few days, maybe a few weeks. I wouldn't try it and think it's going to protect my whiskey for six months or a year. You're welcome to give it a go. I know a lot of people swear by it, but it's not one that I would necessarily use. But then again, it would have been better than this. Number four, always store your bottles upright. It's got a cork in it, right? Now the reason you keep wine stored horizontally is because you want the wine to have contact with the cork. That's what keeps it fresh. 
But with whiskey, the spirit will actually destroy the cork inside and you get little bits of cork that start floating in your whiskey. And obviously that's going to destroy it. So always make sure you keep your whiskey upright. Lastly, and most importantly, stop saving your half full whiskey for special occasions. If it's a special whiskey and you wait, you're going to lose what's special about it. Just enjoy it, just drink it, so you don't end up with this. For more whiskey reviews, subscribe to Top Whiskies on YouTube. We post new videos every week.